Today in this lecture, we are going to start our new chapter about the heart valves and the heart sounds. The first topic of this uh, chapter is the, basically the causes of first and second heart sounds and the areas for auscultation of the first and second heart sounds. Basically, when the blood is going uh, through the heart, the heart is basically making some sounds and those sounds are like loop doop loop doop sounds loop and doop so basically the first heart sound is like loop and the second is like loop 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 so how the first and second heart sounds are generated so we will uh, quickly revise how the blood is flowing through the heart initially uh, blood comes through the uh, heart into the uh, right atrium from the right atrium blood goes into the right ventricle and from the right ventricle blood goes through the pulmonary arteries into the lungs where it gets oxygenated and the oxygenated blood basically returns into the left atrium and from the left atrium the blood comes into the left ventricle and from the left ventricle then blood goes into the aorta now is the heart is uh, pumping the atria both the atria they contract simultaneously similarly both the uh, ventricles they contract simultaneously when the blood is basically uh, pumped from the left atria from, from both the atrias into the ventricles the ventricles pump the, the ventricles basically pump the blood so the blood from the right ventricle will be going into the lungs and the blood from the left ventricle will be going into the body as soon as the blood or the ventricles pump the right and the left ventricle they both contract simultaneously in a normal heart and with this contraction the valves the atrioventricular valves the atrioventricular valves the the tricuspid valve the tricuspid valve here and the mitral valve here here they close because the when the blood is going into the pulmonary arteries from the right ventricle and the blood from the left ventricle is going into the aorta these valves the valves in the aorta and the blood uh, valves in the pulmonary artery will open they will open up but due to the back pressure due to the pressure of the blood due to pressure of the blood here and here the atrioventricular valve the tricuspid valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle and the mitral valve mitral valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle they will close due to back pressure of the blood so because the av valve the atrioventricular valve they are such that they allow blood from atria into the ventricle from atria into the ventricle but they will not allow blood from the ventricles into the atria if the heart is absolutely normal and these valves here they are basically attached with some fibers cordy tangini papillary fibers and with these with the help of these fibers the the valves will close but they will not be able to bulge back into the atria they will not be able to bulge back into the atria they will close here and with with the closure of these two valves the atrioventricular valve the, the closure of tricuspid valve and with the closure of a mitral valve a heart is a heart sound is generated which is basically considered as the first heart sound the first heart sound and uh, we can hear it like loop then what happens that once these valves have been uh, closed and the blood is pumped into the pulmonary artery and the aorta the pressure in the ventricles the amount of blood in the ventricles decreases and the pressure in the pulmonary artery and the aorta basically increases so pressure here increases and pressure here in the aorta increases with the, with the increasing pressure blood start, starts flowing back blood starts flowing back and with the backward flow of the blood the aortic valve here uh, the aortic valve here aortic valve here aortic and the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary valve here they will close is the is the airy valves the atrioventricular valves will allow the blood to move from the atria into the ventricle and with the pumping of the ventricles these valves will close and they will not allow blood to move from the ventricles into the atria if the heart is normal and the valves are also normal similarly these aortic valve this aortic valve and the pulmonary valve they will allow the blood to move from the ventricle into the pulmonary artery and from the uh, ventricle into the aorta but they will not allow blood from the aorta to come back into the left ventricle and blood from the pulmonary artery into the right ventricle so as soon as the blood starts moving back these valve will also close they will also shut down they will close and with the closure of the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve and another sound is generated which which is basically the loop uh, which is basically the loop sound so the heart sounds are like loop 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 and the loop sound is basically the first heart sound which is basically the closure of the mitral mitral and uh, tricuspid valve and the second heart sound is basically due to the closure of the aortic and the pulmonary valve and this is basically how this is basically how the first and second heart sounds are generated and that's how they are uh, heard now the areas of auscultation how can we hear how where to put the stethoscope to uh, properly listen to these heart sound to the loop loop sound so basically if we consider the chest of the uh, uh, a normal human being 
Here we have the ribs. Here we have the second intercostal space. Here is the second rib. This is the second rib. And here the space between the second and the third rib is basically the second intercostal space. Here we have the third intercostal space. Here we have the fourth intercostal space. Here we have the fifth intercostal space. So here basically we have the second rib, third rib, fourth rib, fifth rib. Now, basically the the first heart sound, the loop sound, the first heart sound due to the uh, mitral valve and due to the tricuspid valve, they are heard here. The mitral valve will be heard in the fourth intercostal space, the fourth inter intercostal space just adjacent, adjacent to the sternum. It will be heard just adjacent to the sternum in the fourth intercostal space. This is basically the tricuspid, uh, tricuspid component of the first heart sound, the tricuspid component of the first heart sound. And the mitral component of the first heart sound will be heard in the fifth intercostal space, the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. Here we have the uh, clavicle. So in the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space, we will be able to hear the, the sound of the mitral valve, this mitral valve. Here in the fourth intercostal space adjacent to the sternum we will be here we will be able to hear the uh, the tricuspid component of the first heart sound so the first heart sound also has two component the mitral and the tricuspid so the first and uh, the first heart sound the first heart sound can be uh, heard or the stethoscope should be placed in the fourth or fifth intercostal space for the tricuspid sound it should be put in the fourth intercostal space adjacent to the sternum and for the mitral sound it should be put in the mid clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space now to listen to listen to the second heart sound to the listen to the second heart sound we will put our stethoscope in the second in the second uh, intercostal space and in the second intercostal space the aortic sound the aortic component of the second heart sound the aortic component of the second heart sound will be heard on the right side of the sternum in the second intercostal space in the second intercostal space on the right side of the sternum we will be able to listen the aortic component the aortic component of the second heart sound and it is because the aorta is moving like this the aorta the blood is going into the aorta like this so due to the direction of the aorta the aortic sound will be most prominent at this point and the pulmonic component the pulmonary component of the second heart sound will be properly heard on the left side on the left side of the sternum on the left side of the sternum in the second intercostal space so the areas for auscultation of the first heart sound are the fourth and fifth intercostal space and the areas for the second heart sound are basically in the second intercostal space on the right and left side of the sternum so the causes of the first heart sound is basically the closure of the atrioventricular valve that is basically the closure of the tricuspid valve the tricuspid valve and the mitral valve and the cause of the second heart sound is basically the closure of the the aortic valve and the pulmonary valve when these valves close uh, there is basically vibration generated there is basically vibration generated in these uh, valves which basically is uh, transferred to the adjacent area due to which these hearts uh, these sounds are heard the blood the basically the ventricles are pumping with uh, vigor with force due to which there is uh, these valves basically close forcefully and when they close forcefully there is vibration generated and that vibration get basically transferred to different areas that's why the heart sounds are uh, listened uh, in different areas now we can also uh, listen to the heart sound in any other areas like we can uh, listen to the heart sound in here 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 but these areas basically they are basically specific for these sounds although we can uh, listen to the sounds somewhere else as well but these areas are really really particular for the heart sounds so that's how the loop loop sound or the first heart sound and the second heart sounds are generated and these are the different areas uh, where we should put our stethoscope to properly listen to these heart sounds thanks a lot for watching the video